Today, I'm gonna show you seven tips in CapCut PC that will take your editing to the next level. Let's get started. Tip number one, adding stroke or borders and also shadows to your overlays. We have two videos in our timeline. This is the main video and this is gonna be our overlay video. Click on the overlay video, go to the right side of the software, on scale, change it to somewhere 40 to 50%. Then scroll down on canvas, click on this and change it to color. Then you can select any color that you want it to be your stroke or your borders. So with this tutorial, I'm gonna go with red color. Then right click on the overlay video and create a compound clip now drag it and drop it on our main video now with the compound clip selected click on mask and click on rectangle now use the on-screen controls and increase it a bit I think we can reduce the size a little bit so go to the right side click on basic and reduce the size a little bit then we're gonna drag it to this corner or you can place it on any part of the screen now with this done go to the right side of the software and make sure you still click on the compound clip click on animation and then click on in we're gonna set in animation for this and with this I want it to come from the left side of the screen so I'm gonna select slide left and then I'll change the duration to somewhere two to three seconds that's too slow I'll go for 1.6 seconds then I'll do the same thing with the out click on out and this time around I want it to go to the same direction so I'll click on slide right and change the duration of that to, to somewhere 1.6 seconds and now how to get the shadows this one trick to do click on the compound clip command or control C to copy then command or control V to paste on top of it click on the compound clip the top one that we just duplicate go to the right side of the software click on adjustment scroll down saturation turn it down to zero brightness zero contrast zero highlight zero shadows zero and also illumination zero we just want to darken it go to video scroll down and put it on layer one so it will go below this very one now let me just drag it so it will make sense to you guys so now this is our main overlay and this is the one that we just took the saturation out so with that selected go to scale and increase it by two to three percent so with this i'll go to 73 or 74 percent and now with the on-screen controls i'll drag it to somewhere like this so it will give us that shadow look then scroll down on opacity take it down to somewhere 20 to 30 percent and now i'll play and show you guys how it looks like tip number two blur video background we already have our video in the timeline command or control c to copy then command or control v to paste on top of it click on the down video press v to disable it then click on the top video go to the right side of the software click on cut out then click on auto cut out and now CapCut is gonna process it so with that we just select the down video press v to enable it and now go to the left side of the software click on effect then click on lens scroll down and click on blur drag it and drop it on the down video now you can increase the blur a bit or you can reduce it but with this please don't go crazy with this just add a little bit to it very small in videography means a lot so i'll just move it to something like this now i'll show you guys what we have go to basic and then when i turn the effect off you can see we added a little bit blur to the background tip number three text reveal we have the video already in the timeline go to the left side of the software click on text then drag default text in the timeline let's make it the same length as the video now with the text selected go to the right side type in your text and choose the font style you want and the size too the color you can change the color too from this side with this i'm gonna go with yellow with a stroke black stroke around it now right click on the test and select compound clip with the compound clip created go to the right side of the software click on mask then from here you can either use split circle or rectangle to create this effect with this i'm gonna go with a circle click on that use the on-screen controls stretch it so we can see the whole test i'm using circle 
circle because when you look at my jacket it has this curve around it and this circle is going to make it come clean there is one thing i wish CapCut will be able to provide us with a pen tool that will be easy to draw around any object so with this i'll just go to where i can see the t starting from and still make sure you click on the compound clip then with further increase it to somewhere one or two with this i'll just go with one now make a keyframe on position rotate and size then click on this reverse icon to make the test disappear on the screen and then go one or two frames forward and drag the circle because we set the first keyframe it will automatically set a keyframe on that when you move the circle or the max shape so as you can see the test is starting to show behind me so i'm going to repeat this i'll be fast with this so i don't take so much of your time when you get to this end and the circle is not moving we can still move this side and because we've set a keyframe already it's going to automatically set a keyframe on this side so go forward drag this side now we're done go back and move one frame each to check if you really got it correct if not just do the necessary changes tip number four Ali Abdal caption style. So with this, we have our talking head already and we wanna add some captions to it. So we just drag any random video or image. It doesn't really matter. We just wanna get the canvas. So drag it and drop it in the timeline. Click on that and go to basic on the right side. Scroll down on canvas, we'll choose color. And Ali uses gray color. So we're gonna use gray, but you can use any color you prefer to. Then click on mask and select rectangle. Now click on this reverse icon and then use the on-screen controls, stretch it till it covers the whole screen. Now make a compound clip of it and drag it on the talking head video. So we're just gonna drag it here. Let's drag this and make it short depending on how long your test is. So let's just see, we wanna add the caption on this very side. Click on the compound clip, make sure you take your playhead there and click on mask then select rectangle once again and with that the corners we're going to increase it a little bit ali has this round corners so we're going to do the same thing increase it to somewhere like this and now we can use the on-screen controls and make it a little bit small stretch this side too now we can bring our text in so with this go to the left side of the software click on text then click on default text drag and drop in the timeline or if you've already used auto caption, whatever caption that you created, you can use it to create this same style. Now with the text selected, go to the right side and type in your text. And then I'll change the font size a little bit down. And then with the font style too, I'll go with something like Futura. And then with the color, I'll go with gray on this one. Ali uses that kind of color for this too. Then with the text still selected, scroll down on opacity turn it to somewhere 30 to 50 percent so now we have something like this already on our timeline then click on the test command or control c to copy then command or control v to paste on top of it and with the new one that we just duplicate go to the right side change the opacity back to 100 percent then scroll up and change the color to black now let's close this so we have the black on top of it and then we have the gray text below it now click on the top one go to animation and with this style you can either use the blur right or type 2 but in this tutorial i'm going to go for type 2 so just click on that and increase the duration depending on how long your test will show on the screen so with this i'll go to somewhere 1.8 seconds probably i can go more to somewhere 2.5 now i'll play and show you guys how it looks like now with this done just select all the top three right click and then group them so with the group down we can just reduce the scale of it or increase the size of it and then at the same time we can drag it below and now we have our ali abdal caption style tip number five remove video background there's one request from you guys with this click on the video this is the main video we want to remove the background go to the right side click on cut out then click on auto cut out and wait for CapCut to process it depending on how fast your internet is. So right there, it's very simple and easy with CapCut. It did pretty good job. So with this done, let's go and drag this. We want this to be the background video. 
we drag it in somewhere here then you can click on this drag it up and this is going to snap on this very side if you don't have this feature on you can turn it on by turning auto snapping that's the tool it's really necessary and really good when you have it turned on so now that's going to be our background video we can click on our main video go to basic and increase the size of it a little bit and now you can make this length the same as the top video and play and show you guys tip number six add keyframes to any effect in CapCut pc we have our video already in the timeline go to effect let's just scroll up and add this effect to it or just drag and drop it in this so with this with the effect it doesn't come with keyframes and you know sometimes you just want the effect to come in and go out and there's one trick on how to do that click on the video command or control c to copy then command or control v to paste it on top of it and make sure it's the same length and the same size so this effect will work nicely now click on the down video and go to the right side with the effect delete that now click on the top video scroll down and take opacity back to zero because it's the same video and this opacity is zero we will be seeing the one below it so let's just say we want the effect to come in somewhere here I'll just click on that, go to opacity and make a keyframe on opacity. So now because we've not changed any values, nothing is happening. So let's say if I want it to come in to this very side, take my playhead there and make a keyframe on opacity. Then with that, I'll just increase it to 100%. So now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like. Now let's say if you want to remove the effect at somewhere here, we can take our playhead there, make sure you click on the top one, then go back to opacity and just drag it back to zero. And because we set a keyframe on that very parameter, whatever we do to it, it's going to automatically set another keyframe to it. So now we have this back to zero, I'll play and show you guys, it comes in and then it goes out nice and clean. And tip number seven, object tracking. We have a video of a boat and we want to track the boat. So with this, we're going to start with the test and later on, I'll show you guys exactly how to use with stickers too. Go to the left side of the software, click on test, drag default test in the timeline. Let's just make it the same length as this video. Now click on the test, go to the right side of the software and type in your test. Then you can change the font style and the size too. And also with the color, you can change that too. I'll go with somewhere yellow close that and drag it away from the boat then with the test selected go to tracking and click on motion track now use the on-screen controls and select just the boat and you can click on this icon to get that round curves on the edges and then when you go to the right side with direction leave it on both it's going to track forward and backwards for you and also with scale make sure you turn that off and distance too with this what it means is when you leave scale on whatever happens to the boat let's say when the boat increases with size on the screen it's going to increase your test or stickers and we don't want that we want our stickers or test to stay the same size now i'll click on start and CapCut is going to track it forward and also track it backwards. So now we're done with that play and show you guys what we have tracked nicely to the boat. And one thing about this tool, you can click on the test now, make it any size you want. Or also you can just rotate it and place it next to the boat. And because we've done the tracking already, nothing's going to change. It's going to stay the same, even though when we change the size of it. So I'll show you guys, it goes nice and clean with that. Now let's go to how to track stickers to it. So with that, click on sticker and I'm going to choose this arrow sticker. Drag and drop in the timeline. Make it the same length as this. Then with the scale, let's just reduce it a bit. Rotate it to point the boat and drag it away from it. So just like we did earlier on, click on the arrow, then click on tracking on the right side of the software, then click on motion track, direction, leave it on both and take off scale and distance. Now use the on-screen controls and select just the boat and use this icon to get the round edges. Now click on start and it's going to track forward. Now with this done, you can click on the arrow, go to animation and we can select any animation from this. I'll use bounce in, increase the duration a little bit of it and play and show you guys. This next video will show you how pro YouTubers animate their images. Catch you on the next one. Peace.